Welcome to DCE Digital Learning. This is Bachelor of Science Mathematics Theory of Equations class and in this class we are going to discuss Synthetic Division. Recap Definition of Monic Polynomial A single variable polynomial in which the leading coefficient is 1 is called a monic polynomial. Examples x plus a is a monic linear polynomial and x square plus bx plus c is a monic quadratic polynomial. Division algorithm. If f of x is any polynomial and g of x is a non-zero polynomial, then there exist unique polynomials q of x and r of x such that f of x equals q of x into g of x plus r of x where r of x equals 0 or degree of r of x is less than degree of g of x. q of x is called the quotient and r of x is called the remainder. Recap Long Division of Polynomials It is an algorithm for dividing a polynomial by another polynomial of same or lower degree. In this method, both dividend and divisor are arranged in the descending powers of the variable and division is done term by term. It is illustrated through an example. Example, divide x cube minus 2x square minus 4 by x minus 3. Long division is given here. We arranged the dividend x cube minus 2x square plus 0x minus 4 and divisor x minus 3 and division is shown here. After division, quotient is x square plus x plus 3 and remainder is r of x equals 5. Clearly, divisor is linear polynomial and remainder is a constant and degree of remainder is less than degree of divisor. Synthetic division by a linear expression. Let the polynomial of degree n given by f of x equals a0 x raised to n plus a1 x raised to n minus 1 plus a2 x raised to n minus 2 plus and so on plus a n minus 1 x plus a n equation 1 is divided by the monic linear polynomial g of x equals x minus alpha equation 2. Then the quotient is a polynomial of degree n minus 1 is given by q of x equals b naught x raised to n minus 1 plus b1 x raised to n minus 2 plus and so on plus b n minus 2 x plus b n minus 1 equation 3. And the remainder is a constant, say r of x equals bn equation 4. These four equations are connected by the relation f of x equals q of x into g of x plus r of x equation 5. Substituting equations 1 to 4 in equation 5, we have a0 x raised to n plus a1 x raised to n minus 1 plus and so on plus a n minus 1 x plus a n equals x minus alpha into b0 x raised to n minus 1 plus and so on plus b n minus 1 plus b n. Multiplication and simplification of right hand side of above equation gives a0 x raised to n plus a1 x raised to n minus 1 plus a2 x raised to n minus 2 plus and so on plus a n minus 1 x plus a n equals b naught x raised to n plus b1 minus alpha b naught times x raised to n minus 1 plus b2 minus alpha b1 times x raised to n minus 2 plus and so on plus b n minus 1 minus alpha b n minus 2 times x plus b n minus alpha b n minus 1. Equation 6. Equating the coefficients of like terms of equation 6, we get a0 equals b0, which implies b0 equals a0. a1 equals b1 minus alpha b0, which implies 
B1 equals A1 plus alpha A0. A2 equals B2 minus alpha B1 which implies B2 equals A2 plus alpha B1. A3 equals B3 minus alpha B2 which implies B3 equals A3 plus alpha B2. Continuing in the same way, a n minus 1 equals b n minus 1 minus alpha b n minus 2 which implies b n minus 1 equals a n minus 1 plus alpha b n minus 2. a n equals b n minus alpha b n minus 1 implies b n equals a n plus alpha b n minus 1. The above process of finding b naught, b1 and so on b n can be exhibited in a tabular form as here a0, a1, a2 and so on an minus 1, an are coefficients of f of x. x equals alpha is the multiplier written left side. We multiply a0 with the multiplier alpha and write below a1 and we will add a1 and alpha a0 to get b1. Next, we multiply alpha and b1 and write below a2 and add a2 alpha b1 to find b2. The process is repeated. an minus 1 plus alpha bn minus 2 equals bn minus 1 and alpha bn minus 1 plus an is bn. The last number bn is the remainder r of x a0, b1, b2 and so on bn minus 1 are coefficients of quotient q of x. This process of getting quotient and remainder is called synthetic division. Synthetic division by a quadratic expression. Let the polynomial of degree n given by f of x equals a0 x raised to n plus a1 x raised to n minus 1 plus a2 x raised to n minus 2 plus and so on plus a n minus 1 x plus a n equation 1 is divided by the monic quadratic polynomial g of x equals x square minus alpha x minus beta equation 2. Then the quotient is a polynomial of degree n minus 2 and is given by q of x equals b naught x raised to n minus 2 plus b1 x raised to n minus 3 plus and so on plus bn minus 3x plus bn minus 2 equation 3 and the remainder is a linear polynomial say r of x equals bn minus 1x plus bn equation 4. These four equations are connected by the relation f of x equals q of x into g of x plus r of x equation 5. Substituting equations 1 to 4 in equation 5, we have a0 x power n plus a1 x power n minus 1 plus and so on plus a n equals x square minus alpha x minus beta times b0 x power n minus 2 plus and so on plus b n minus 2 plus b n minus 1 x plus b n. Multiplication and simplification of right hand side of above equation gives a0 x power n plus a1 x power n minus 1 plus a2 x power n minus 2 plus and so on plus a n minus 1 x plus a n equals b0 x power n plus b1 minus alpha b0 times x power n minus 1 plus b2 minus alpha b1 minus beta b0 times x power n minus 2 plus and so on plus b n minus 1 minus alpha b n minus 2 minus beta b n minus 3 times x plus b n minus beta b n minus 2 equation 6. Equating the coefficients of like terms of equation 6, we get a naught equals b naught which implies b naught equals a naught. A1 equals B1 minus alpha B0 which implies B1 equals A1 plus alpha A0. A2 equals B2 minus alpha B1 minus beta A0 which implies B2 equals A2 plus alpha B1 plus beta A0. Continuing in the same way, 
an minus 1 equals bn minus 1 minus alpha bn minus 2 minus beta bn minus 3, which implies bn minus 1 equals an minus 1 plus alpha bn minus 2 plus beta bn minus 3. An equals Bn minus beta Bn minus 2, which implies Bn equals An plus beta Bn minus 2. The above process of finding B0, B1 and so on Bn can be exhibited in a tabular form as Here, A0, A1, A2 and so on An minus 1, An are the coefficients of f of x. They are written in the first row. Alpha and beta are the multipliers written along the left side. Now we multiply alpha and a naught and write below a1 and we will find out b1 using a1 plus alpha a naught. Next we multiply alpha b1 and beta a naught and write below a2 and we will find b2 by adding a2 alpha b1 beta b naught. The process is repeated. So an minus 1 plus alpha bn minus 2 plus beta bn minus 3 equals bn minus 1. Finally, we multiply beta and bn minus 2 and write below an and we will get bn by adding an and beta bn minus 2. The last two numbers bn minus 1 x plus bn gives the remainder and the numbers a naught b1, b2 and so on, bn minus 2 give coefficients of q of x. This process of getting quotient and remainder is called synthetic division. Let's see how a comparison of long division and synthetic division. Long division versus synthetic division. In long division, variables are written in all steps, more writing and lengthy, no change of signs of coefficients of divisor is made. Subtraction is done in each step. In synthetic division, only coefficients are written. It is less writing and short. Change of signs of coefficients of divisor is made at the beginning. Addition is done in each calculation. So, for division of polynomials by monic polynomials like x minus alpha and Quadratic monic polynomials like x square minus alpha x minus beta, synthetic division is very convenient tool and that directly gives quotient and remainder. Let's see an example. Find quotient and remainder when 2x raised to 4 minus 3x cubed plus 5x square minus 7x minus 10 is divided by x minus 2. Solution. Let's apply synthetic division. First, we shall draw horizontal and vertical lines. Now, we will write coefficients of f of x. 2, minus 3, 5, minus 7, minus 10. We will write multiplier x equals 2. First, we will take up 2 as it is. Then, we will multiply 2 and 2, write 4 below minus 3. Now, minus 3 plus 4 is 1. Now, we multiply 2 and 1 right below 5. 5 plus 2, 7. Multiply 2 and 7, write 14 below minus 7. Minus 7 plus 14 is 7. Multiply 2 and 7, write 14 below minus 10. Minus 10 plus 14 is 4. Now, we will draw one line leaving last number. 2, 1, 7, 7 become coefficients of the quotient, 4 becomes remainder. Therefore, q of x equals 2x cube plus x square plus 7x plus 7 and remainder r of x equals 4. That's all in this video. Thank you.